Hey, what's up guys, this is Adrian. If you wanna see me create a logo from start to finish to kind of get an idea of my process, I'm gonna make a video about that today. I wanted to show you guys my process for a company that I'm working with called On The Fence. They didn't really have a name for their company and I helped them do their brand strategy, their marketing strategy, and we're building them a very simple, beautiful website and they needed a logo for that. So I actually threw this in as a bonus deal. So I wanna show you guys this logo process. If you guys have any questions, wanna know how I did some of these things, drop a comment down below. If you want me to slow it down in future videos of the tutorials, I can do that as well. So let's go ahead and jump into the video and check out this logo design process for On The Fence. All right, we're gonna break this down. The first step that we need to do is do some research based on the name of this guy's company. Now, I helped him come up with the name and also buy the domain name through Adrian Domain. So that's what I'm gonna do first, is I'm gonna go do some research, do some initial investigation on if there's any other companies out there with this name. And if there are, what do their brands look like so I can make them look completely unique and completely different from anything else that's out there. So let's go ahead and jump into the first part. I'm gonna type in the name of the company, On The Fence Logo. Okay, that's the name of the company is On The Fence. Looks like there's a fence logo. Let me just go here to Google Images. This has the biggest assortment of examples and ideas. And I could even say, award-winning fence logo. And this is what I did for years, and this is how I won my awards, I feel, is I found incredibly great designs that I thought were amazing, and then I took them and I put my own personality, my own twist, and my own style on them, and I won multiple awards doing it this way. So I think modern fence logo, that could be a good one. Something a little bit more modern. That's nice, but doesn't really stand out. What if I did OTF and then put on the fence below it? These also look like letters inside of here. This is a really neat concept. So this one's kind of like really inspiring me. So I'm gonna lean this direction. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go over to Photoshop first. And then I'm gonna paste that logo concept in here as some inspiration. So this will be my mood board. I'll even put some text up here. Mood, board, and then this one over here, make this bigger. And then this one here, one that being my concepts. All right, so there we go. So I have my mood board on one and concepts on the other. So I like that concept. Um, for a company that's family oriented, I really like, whoops, you know, three, three rules of branding and logo design is, look at that D&D, that's really nice, is simplicity, memorable, and applicable, right? So it needs to have some sort of tell that you, you do fences, but also be simple and be memorable. So I'm trying to find a logo that has all of those combined. And there was one here, I saw just this one right here, elevation fencing, like look at that, elevation and then a fence, there's an F2. So it's just a really, really high quality logo there. Um, I wanna actually take this and use this as an inspiration as well. So copy, now keep in mind, I'm not, these are just inspiration. I'm not stealing these logos. I'm just using them as examples for different concepts that I'd like to come up with. So this is a pretty good mood board. Maybe I'll go get one more just to kind of get an idea. All right, so now that we have that, I have kind of an idea. Well, this is where ChatGPT is gonna come into play and MidJourney. So, write me Okay, this isn't really a prompt. So you can see it's not perfect, right? We are seeking a mid-journey one color logo design that encapsulates business on the fence as we specialize. Let's just see what happens when it puts this in and then I'm gonna show you what, it put, what, I, what I do when I put it in. So check it out how I typically do it with my prompting strategy. I could have taken the mid-journey out. So 
Let's see what it does. So we'll do this test. Let's see what happens when I do this. Let's see what these are that came up. These are really busy. So I'm, see, like it just doesn't give you what you want. It didn't follow my directions very well. But when I do it this way, vector, order winning vector logo design, one color logo for fencing business, residential wooden fences, minimalistic style, black and white. Oh, black, oops. Well, that could be an issue why. It's not doing it black and white. You go back to imagine. I'm gonna fix that, black and white. Logo. Soggy Huggy. Style. If you don't know who Soggy Haviv is, you got to get to know him. He's absolutely insane. Some of the logos that him and his team have done, world renowned. So, super important for you to check that out. Uh, you know what's cool is just the idea of having this in the circle with the wood planks in here like this. It's like a little little viewfinder through here. And it's kind of got an O as well. So on, it's like on the fence. And you could even make a little bit of a, a C out of the O. I don't know, there's something kind of going on here. OFC. Or OTC actually is. Or oh, OTF. O, T, T could be the bar that goes across the fence line. Hmm. I like the simplicity of just having the boards. So I want to see if we can actually just make the logo look like it's on the boards. So let's see what the mid journey image that it just came up with. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this isn't it either. So it's not really giving me what I want. Let me just type in So a fence would represent your family and being able to protect your family and protect your stuff and like it separates your property from somebody else's property so it protects what's yours, right? I do have a slogan already that I had talked to him about, which I'm going to read here. Uh, let me pull it up. Fixing fences for good. What's very clear to me is that we're going to go with a circle logo. What I'm going to start by doing first is coming in here. And like none of these are circles, so I didn't get this inspiration from any of these, but this is just what I'm feeling is the right direction to go because of the name of the company being longer um, and just the family oriented. I noticed that the family oriented stuff seems to have circles a lot, but again, we're gonna keep it very, very simple. So we're gonna go in here. I'm actually gonna duplicate this one more time. I'm gonna flip this and then I'm gonna put a uh, stroke on it just to be able to kind of see it better so I can align them. All right, and now I'm going to Where's my align? Here we go, align. Okay, so they're completely aligned. And now what I'm gonna need to do is create some fence boards. So what I'd like to do is to take this concept here, duplicate this, and I'm just gonna redraw it real fast. So we're gonna use the pen tool. and then paste this into here. Probably do something along the lines of this. Circle it, center it between the circles like that. And then I'm just gonna do a clipping mask. Shift command eight, I think it's shift command eight. No, shift control eight. I'm always forgetting this. Okay, so let's grab this layer and grab this layer. I'm gonna go to object. Clipping mask, make, boom. Now I need to put this black back in. 
I think I may have done that backwards. I did. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to come in here, put this layer on top of it. It's like both of the layers now. Object, clipping mask, make. Boom, now that's in there. Then I can take this black circle here and put this back behind it. Put that on the back layer and I can make that a different shade. So let's just say I'm gonna make it just slightly lighter like this, All right? Just for the moment. I don't know if it's gonna stay like that, but for the moment, this is what it is. And then around the edges, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn this off now. And around the edge of this graphic here. In fact, you know what? Not only am I gonna turn it off, but I'm actually gonna duplicate it first. So I'm gonna go back to where it was. Now we need to find a font that we want to use. So let's look at the board over here that we have. I really like this. I feel like he's going to like this because it has this fence look, but I also like the simplicity of this too. I feel like this is really precise and professional. Uh, I've already used this. I don't like this. I think this is too modern, too bold. So I think I'm going to go with something simple like this, just a nice bold font with the fencing underneath um, as the smaller font. So let's go ahead and look at a few different options. So I know that I have, I think it's Avant or Avenir, which is a really good font. Uh, let's see here what this would look like if we made it just a little bit bigger. Okay, 40 on the fence, All right? I can turn, take this layer here. Hold on, let's undo that. There we go, turn that layer off. And this stroke, this whole thing itself will end up becoming smaller. Okay, we'll make the stroke bigger. There we go. Okay, and keep in mind this is starting off in black and white. Um, in fact, let me come back in here into this background here. Okay, so come in here. And we're gonna make this white. There we go. Now we're gonna take this bottom font, we're gonna flip this. I'm not really liking the way this is filling in. Now I do understand that I could fill in this gap with some piping here, but again, I want it to be as simple as possible. So, I'm going to see what it looks like to say on the fence.
Now keep in mind, these are just concepts. These are not the original ones. And these are just to get in a direction from him. Um, I think that these are good. We have just the text here. I can make this a little smaller with the fence inside the, inside the O. Right, then I have this oval one, which I think looks nice. I'm probably gonna use a different font here because uh, I don't think this really fits as well. So I wanna use something maybe a little bit more like that one that has kind of the tubing. It almost looks like a little more industrial. Let's see. And these are simple logo designs, so I'm not expected to make these things super freaking amazing. I'm gonna keep it super basic. And if I want to, I can take this, I can duplicate these down and I can do a variation of this. So like an example would be on this one, I can change the font to something, let's see here. is really neat I like that with the cross boards like that that's really really cool we just have to make these smaller there you go there you go and then I would just make the font all this bigger there you go and then again if I wanted to change this I could totally change this Take this here. And then inside of here, I don't usually like to mess with fonts very much, but I probably want to put a little line across here. is good enough to send. So I'm gonna go ahead and send this off and we'll see what the client says. All right, so now that I got these final logos, I need to export them and send them to the client so they can see them and then I'll get that final approve off. So let me show you how I do that. So I go file, I'm gonna hit export. I'm gonna export as, right? Or I can export for screens, which actually I'll probably do here. And I have one, two, and three, and four. This is the black and white. This is the reverse. This is the two color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I put them in the right folder. So we're gonna go here on the fence and then we'll go final um, JPEG export. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it's nice and organized. I'm gonna choose, these are JPEGs. Now I can add different versions, PNGs, things like that. But for just the example of this video, I'm gonna just do JPEG, I'm gonna hit export artboard. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm gonna go over to my Google slide deck and I've created this Google slide deck for him of on the fence repair. And you can see here, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna hit insert image Upload from computer. I'm gonna come over here. I go to final JPEG export. I'm gonna do the black and white first. So I'm gonna go this one here. I'll make sure this is centered right there. Okay, we're gonna to go to the second one. I'm gonna insert image. This is really fast as you can probably tell already. This is the reversed version. And I'm gonna make sure I include that on there. So let me put some text on here. Perfect, okay, so now I have this. I could just go here and download this as a PDF and email this right to my client or I can share this link directly to them if I just wanna share the link itself. But I want them to sign this. 
You can put this into Adobe Sign and have them sign it digitally, which is really nice. It just goes on the, the signature here. And in fact, I just needed to delete these two. Uh, but I have this. So now the next thing I want to do is I want to send him a mock-up. So the best way to send him a mock-up is to just use Adobe Stock. So you go to Adobe Stock. I typed in logo wood mock-up. I did some searching. I wanted something that looked kind of like a fence or a piece of wood that felt natural. And the closest thing I felt like it really matched his brand uh, was this one here. So I just licensed this. I'll download it again just so I have it twice. You guys can see. I download it. Now what I'm going to do is go over to show Photoshop Beta. I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to go to my downloads. And there's that file. You're going to see how easy this is. If you've never done this before, this is going to be super helpful. So you see it shows you your logo here. But everything is actually inside of here. So what you want to do, let me move this up, is because this is a smart object, you got a few of them in here, right? There's multiple. We want to open up the smart object. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to double click it. It's going to open up the new file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab this one color logo. I'm going to hit command C or control C, depending on what kind of computer you're on. Go back over here. I'm going to hit paste. There we go. Paste pixels. Is that one's in pixels? I'm going to scale this up, hold down shift while you're doing it to make sure it's the right size. So I'm going to put this right here at the top. Put this right there. There we go. And then I'll just delete this layer. And then all you have to do is hit Command S. Now watch what happens. I've saved that. Right? Command or Control S. Now if I go over here, how about that? It just changed all of them. And it looks amazing. So all I got to do now is I got to hit File, Save As, Mockup for On the Fence. I'm going to save this into their folder. There it is. There we go. Hit save. Beautiful. And it's done. So now I got a beautiful mock up that goes along with the designs. If I want to create Facebook, Facebook covers, I could just type in Facebook cover. There we go. This is pretty cool. Now it's got a lot of stuff in here that I'm gonna end up pulling out. Um, but let's see, let me just download this just to show you an example. Okay, and I can change these colors. It's gonna open up an Illustrator. And it's gonna be super easy. So I'm gonna delete this. Oh, what the heck? So this is just a preview image. So what I wanna do is actually license this image. You gotta know the difference there. I'm gonna vector file, of course. I'm gonna download that. There we go. Now it's gonna open up the right one. Let me close this one out now, close. It was trying to look for these fonts. I don't have those fonts, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up using uh, some fonts that match nicely with this. Now, he didn't pay for a whole brand guide. Um, so there we go. So that's not going to be coming with this. Okay, so I got that there. That looks really nice. And what I want to do is I want to take his logo and most people like to put them on the left hand side, which I think could look really good. I want to try and see what it looks like with it on the right hand side. Yeah, I think it's actually going to look a lot better on the left hand side. So I'm going to keep it there. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So we're going to go ahead and scale this up to about here. <coughs> and then right here, we're going to put his phone number. So we're going to use a nice font, something like, I believe... Let me just do this real fast. <clears throat> I want to get this right. So let's go back to his on the fence, old concepts. We'll go to the very first concepts that we picked. I'll find the font that I used that you can see here. Let's see. What font is this? Let's see what's character. So Avenir. Okay, so that's good. Avenir is a great font. So we're going to stick with Avenir to keep the fonts consistent. So let's go back over here. We'll pick Avenir book. Okay. And then we're going to put his phone number in here. Um, let's see here. Okay. 
there we go. Grab this number here. All right. And then we'll go back over here. So we got that in there. Let's bring this over a little bit more. We'll just make this a little bit bigger. Boom. Okay. And then we want to put in Now over here on the right hand side, we have this big open area. We're gonna put a big catch phrase. So I'm gonna line this up. I'm gonna put this up here. Fixing fences for good. There we go. All right, so there's the cover photo. So now what I need to do as I need to grab it. This is really hard to see. Perfect. That looks much better. So that it's legible and readable. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab this guy. I can do it a couple different ways. I can just click this and unclick this. And I can just grab this layer and hit file export selection you can see here it'll be Facebook cover photo and then I'll put this in here and I'll put this inside of his folder and we'll stick that there and we'll hit JPEG and export so you can do that and that'll get you the image all right, so we officially did everything that we needed to do as part of this package. I did the logo concept, I put it on the deck, we even created a social media graphic, and then we finished it up by having that mock-up on there. So a lot of stuff to do, even on a free logo package. That's why people don't understand how much time and work goes into this stuff. There's still a business card design that I could do for him if I wanted to. This package didn't include that, but this is something I could do if I really wanted to just hook them up and say thank you. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this was helpful of walking you guys through the process of logo design that I do for my clients, even when I'm doing promotional offers like this. So if you guys have any questions, drop a link down below and I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell and as always, keep looking up.